A trophy Jeep, a U4 trophy Jeep. This is gonna be awesome. So if you're a Rock Ray fan or a Baja Ray fan or someone just looking for an exciting off-road RC adventure, this is something you need to see. It is the new Hammer Ray. Losi has teamed up with Casey Curry to recreate his U4 Trophy Jeep and they did an amazing job. Losi is really working hard on creating scale off-road motorsports replicas and when they had the Rock Ray, it really didn't fit. So that's why they discontinued it. There was a lot of people upset about it, but uh, and there was actually the Baja Ray people were upset too that the platform was going to go away but that's not the case they're just changing things up so their offerings look much more scale and this was an awesome choice this is just a great looking vehicle i've seen pictures of casey curry's rig online and it just looks so cool and now we get to drive an rc version so let's just dive right into it they've got two liveries on this new platform obviously we've got the green and gray camo version and then we've got the uh black and red version that we've seen if you you, know, you follow him on Instagram or anywhere on social media, you've seen that rig before. Really cool looking off-road beast and they've really captured it here with a couple of minor tweaks that we're going to talk about, but uh, love the body panels. They're all separate pieces of course and screwed onto an inner cage and I think a lot of people are going to like that. They want a caged vehicle with body panels that they could take on or off if they want to, uh, but this is a really great looking scheme. Like the bright vibrant colors on here and uh, all of the sponsored logos the only logo you're not going to see here is the jeep logo it is not a licensed jeep vehicle it is an approved design but it doesn't have the licensing so we've got a standard grill up front instead of the slotted grill i'm sure we're going to see some guys with 3d printers uh, make their own face plate here but other than that i mean they've got the lines just right i think they've got the shape of the panels just right at first i thought the rear clip looked a little bit exaggerated but when i started to look at pictures of casey's truck online it is actually crazy correct and and the detail work in here is is amazing but let's start off in the front and uh, talk about the front bumper so we've got this skid style front bumper with an led light right above it and then the grill panel of course that we just talked about and uh, we've got led lights in the headlights as well really cool i mean they even got the texture of the light down really like that moving up to the hood you know just painted graphics and decals and then up here at the top we've also got a light bar so we've got a light bar, we've got headlights and a light bar in the front bumper. Really cool look on the LED lights. I love that they gave us more right out of the box. Uh, really cool looking roof panel. And then inside you can see we've got the driver and navigator. Uh, even a little bit of a textured paint finish to it too that I noticed. But uh, you know, decals on the dashboard, uh, decals in the center console, just to add to the scale look of it. Uh, the helmets are molded plastic. So as you can see, I could turn it just a little bit there. And uh, you know, that's pretty much it for the interior decals. Let's turn to the side so you can check out this side panel, uh, even a Nerf bar on the side. And just check out all the detail work that they gave. We got the MagnaFlow exhaust up out back here, the Fox Shocks reservoirs, fire extinguishers, uh, the sway bar out back. This is not a functioning sway bar. Uh, if you took this pivot off, this thing would just swing around. Uh, it actually has the sway bar down below that I'll show you in a little bit. But uh, again, they went for all the details, just like his real rig. And check out the large fuel cell out back, full size spare tire, usable spare with the wing nut up top. Just really cool look. Check out the radiator fans. Just, I mean, they nailed it with the scale detail on this as they're going for it. That's what Losi is all about now, giving you that scale motorsports experience just in radio control form. All right, now getting the body off isn't too bad. Uh, you're going to need, I would say you're going to need an electric driver and a two millimeter hex to go along with that. But you just remove two screws in the front uh, there are a bunch of screws along the bottom mudguard panel and then there's two up top above the shock tower and then right behind this rubber plug is one final screw that you need to take out on each side and once you do that you can pull the body off and when you do pull the body off you'll then need to pop off these uh, links in the back here so let me pop these off there we go they're pretty pretty easy to just pop right off there's the other one let me spin this aside and you can see how the body will just come right up and kind of out kind of keys in a little bit 
there we go. And you'll actually have to unplug the LED lights too, but there's that inner cage just so you guys could see it really well braced on the inside. So if you do flip this thing over, I don't think it's going to uh, affect anything on the inside. All right, now we can check out the platform. We've got a new longer wheelbase here and a lot of the rest of it is probably gonna be similar to what you've seen before on the Baja Ray. So we've got the long travel shocks in the front, uh, threaded bodies, aluminum top cap here with uh, bleeder screws and everything, bump stops. Uh, pretty good shock. I actually really like the Baja Ray, the way it handled and when, when I made my tweaks, uh, I had to do a lot of extra tuning. So this is pretty well set up from the box if it's like the Baja Ray. Fixed links on top for the suspension. Uh, and then we've got these solid looking lower arms. They do have an insert plate in there. There are a couple holes for tuning positions. And then uh, on the outside, it's the steering knuckle and caster blocks that we've seen before. Uh, you know, we've got pins through there that are captured with set screws. And that's, you know, again, it's suspension we've seen before. It feels really good. Uh, I like that they've got the fake disc brakes on the outside, gives you some more scale look to the rig. Let me just show you this front bumper really quick. You know, just see how it's braced. It's braced really well. So when you're gliding through rocks and stuff, doing your U4 adventures, you know, it will take some abuse. And then let's move back here to the chassis next. So we've got an aluminum plate chassis, an aluminum upper deck as well. Uh, they even have a drop out so you can pull the motor out from the bottom, access it really easily. And the battery is inserted actually through the rear of the truck. There is a little slide plate here, opens up a door and you can slide your batteries in. And it's uh, it takes a 3S pack or a 2S pack. So your standard power system for a truck of this size. But uh, let me just spin this back around here so you can see the rear plate that kind of makes up the shock tower and a rear transmission housing. Actually the rear transmission housing is over here it is separate uh, we'll talk about the transmission in a minute but everything is well covered and uh, now let me move on to the rear suspension so we've got you know another long travel shock in the rear and we've got a slave shock now that's really cool and oil filled and uh, of course the front shock is threaded so you could adjust the preload on there there is your sway bar this is your actual sway bar metal link that goes all the way or, or metal rod that goes all the way around to the other side and then your long travel trailing arms your your links up top to triangulate the suspension and uh, that this actually feels really good as well i mean i know i say that about a lot of vehicles but i really like the lozy baja ray and now the hammer ray suspension feel hopefully it's going to translate well out when we're driving it okay now let's move on to the drivetrain so we've got differentials in the front in the center and in the rear they are open diffs and with a u4 vehicle you know you're driving an off-road style train and there is some rock crawling involved uh, i'm not quite sure if they have heavy enough oil in here we'll have to see when we're doing the rock crawling portion of it but at least for driving around in dirt and stuff i think it's going to be just fine it feels like it's set up really well uh, metal gears in the differentials. Uh, we've got the composite slider drive shafts with the metal yokes all the way around on here. The center drive shaft is just your long style of dog bone. And of course we've got full ball bearings throughout in this uh, metal idler gear inside the transmission. Again, kind of stuff that we've seen before on the Ray platform. And I'll just show you the rear axle really quick, the solid rear axle setup. Uh, again, open differential inside. We've got metal axles on the inside going out to the wheels and then 12 millimeter hexes and they even have the fake disc brakes on the outside of the rear wheel or rear axle as well. Now let me just touch base quickly on the steering, same steering that we've seen before. It's got a servo saver built into it, uh, goes over to this composite servo horn, which I wasn't too thrilled about until I saw that they do at least include the metal insert. So that will help strengthen that up a bit, but that's something I'll probably swap out to an aluminum unit. Uh, again, fixed links up front, and uh, that's really about it. The motor plate on there is aluminum, and now let's get into the electronics because I want to tell you about this massive heat sink on here. That's really cool to see because, you know, in an enclosed body like this, uh, there's going to be some heat, so this will help dissipate some heat. For the motor, we've got a Spectrum 3150 KV four pole motor. Uh, up front, we've got the Spectrum 614S servo, uh, Metal Gear waterproof high torque. And then I know I'm kind of bouncing around here, but the speed controller is a Spectrum Smart 130 amp speed controller, which can handle two to four S. Uh, I'm not sure if the motor could handle four S though. And that's probably why all over the box is just two S and three S power uh, suggestions for the battery packs to get. 
And uh, this is a good speed controller. It has a, a couple of programming features to it. So you could uh, set the punch and the brake and everything. And then right behind it is a Spectrum 6200A receiver. I believe that's a new receiver. But anyway, it's an ABC receiver. Uh, has a, a lot of auxiliary ports. And oh, I forgot to mention that the battery plug is an IC5. So make sure you get an IC5 style of battery uh, if you're going with the whole Spectrum ecosystem on this uh, because they also have an IC3. You don't want to mix that up. But anyway, you can access the switch out back here. It's also got your set button on it. Really great looking platform. Uh, again, I love driving the Baja Ray. So I'm really excited to try this one out with this long wheelbase. Looks like it's just going to be a lot of fun. Let's go hit the dirt.
All right, drivers, I really wanted to walk you through the drive with the Hammer Ray. However, I'm not at the Dirt Basher lot anymore. There's some news I gotta tell you about that. I will wait till the end. Right now, let's just concentrate on the Hammer Ray. I'm at a local park. Uh, just gotta drive around in this dirt parking lot and tell you about some of the handling traits I'm noticing with this thing. All right, so I wanna show you this thing taking off from a dead stop and here we go. Pretty straight. I noticed there's a little bit of torque twist in this thing still. When you get on it, kind of see it pull over to the side but the abc kicks in i got a little bit of steering input myself but this thing is pretty quick i've got a 3s pack in there look at this thing go yeah it's kicked over to the side a little bit but uh, it goes 35 miles an hour i threw my gnss in there and hit 35 with it on a freshly charged pack but that thing is pretty quick you can see it pulling there we go all right let me go over to the dirt pile here when you go into the corners, you definitely have to roll out of it. We've got some give here with the tires. And uh, if you hit some high traction stuff, this thing will go right over. But here on this loose stuff, it's actually doing pretty well. Back at the dirt basher field, it wanted to roll every time I'd hit those loose corners. Well, let's go off this jump now. This thing jumps pretty well. It's just the landings were a little bit bouncy on the landings and I think that's because of the tires. All right, let's get some more air with the hammer A. There we go. That's more like it. Just quick short jumps. I think that's what this thing could really take well. Nice, just bucked up one over that. That was cool. As long as you keep the jumps low it is pretty good. Now I'm gonna show you some big air stuff. I know you guys wanna see some big air stuff. Yeah. Oh, saved it. That was a pretty cool jump. I gotta say that. I mean, I don't think you're supposed to get big air like that, but we're going for it. We're testing this thing out. Serious hit there. One more, one more big air. Let's go for it. Oh, so yeah, a lot of bounce on this thing. But if you tone it back down to some more scale type jumps like this, perfect. Nice and plush. Let off going through the corner. Come back on it. Slow up. Nice. Nice and plush. That long uh, wheelbase there really helps it out. That looks ultra scale. Really cool looking. Nice. So I showed you what this thing could do. Went a little extreme with it. That's where it's at right there. So cool. It takes off. Nice acceleration. Definitely steers a lot better in this loose stuff that I'm noticing. Nice. Little bounce, but that's to be expected. All right. Let's head back to the workshop and wrap up this review. So here's the story on the basher field. I took the hammer ray up there with a bunch of battery packs. And when I got there, I noticed all the trees and brush were cut down. A lot of the land was cleared up and there was actually a new sign out front that said future home of a roofing business. And I tried to get a hold of my buddy who was leasing the field and couldn't get a hold of him and just decided to bomb the field, go run this thing without any permission whatsoever. I don't know if it changed hands or not and ran through all the battery packs because I was in a rush and didn't get to go and do my talking through the drive part there. So that's why I did it in the lot. But uh, the bigger problem is, is I, it looks like I lost my bashing lot. I finally got a hold of my buddy and uh, it looks like I've got about four months left to use the lot, which means I've got to find a new place to bash. And I'm kind of freaking out, guys. Uh, I actually contacted my realtor, hoping to find a lot that I could use through her uh, or maybe even buy a lot. And that would be pretty cool to have an RC driver compound. And because of this, you know, I am actually going to go and kind of ask in some of my videos, if you're an online shopper, to use our links in the video description. It is an affiliate link, but it looks like I might have to start renting some land or maybe buy something. And uh, that would certainly help out. I don't like asking for that stuff. I just like to let you guys find it on your own and if you do awesome thank you i really appreciate it but this is kind of one of those times where kind of freaking out i could really use your help you know so please consider if you're an online shopper 
All right, with that said, the Hammer Ray is pretty awesome. I had so much fun driving this, even though I was in a rush and I did put a bunch of battery packs through it. Ran it a few more packs uh, in the dirt parking lot going off that jump where I just abused this thing. I'm sending it way farther through the air than it should probably be sent, but you know, I wanted to try to thrash this thing to see if there was anything I could break on it, let you guys know about. But it seems to be a really solid beast. I mean, I smashed the front of this, just full face plant into the ground off the big jumps uh, and you know no issues same with landing on the rear no you know sagging rear cage or anything like that from crashing onto the rear of the rig uh, it seems to be a really solid beast the only time I actually had something go wrong with it was at the basher field launched it off with one of the jumps landed into a rock and it popped one of the ballings off of the fake rear sway bar setup so that's not a big deal just popped it right back on and went but I tried to thrash this thing as hard as I could for you uh, just you know be aware of the number of battery packs I put through it when you're making your decision if this is right for you or not. But uh, this thing, I think it jumps really well. Uh, if you are hitting some steep jumps, it does buck up the rear. I mean, it is a solid axle uh, rig. We do have a little bit of torque twist in the front, but this longer platform here really makes it stable. Uh, the tall tires really help it get through some rough stuff, but it does cause some bounce. And so if you're you know going off of a jump, you gotta, gotta factor that into your driving style. Uh, going over a rock pile with these open diffs, I mean, it really just diffs out, just winds up sitting there, uh, just trying to send power to whatever is, you know, uh, not touching the ground. So I think you're going to have to go up in the diff oils on this, but the suspension seems to work pretty well, a little on the soft side, so you see some sway, but the other cool side of that is you get to see that suspension action. So if you're just having fun with this thing, uh, I think you're really going to enjoy that aspect of it. The ABC, um, I, I dialed it down a little bit. I think it took over a little too much. And this thing is certainly plenty fast at 35 miles an hour for a off-road vehicle like this with long travel suspension, solid axle rear end, I mean, uh, I, I think that is a good speed. Nice, tough rig, really cool look to it. Speaking of looks, if you haven't noticed uh, behind my shoulder here, there is a new Losi logo. Just wanted to point that out to you guys. I think we're gonna see a lot of cool stuff from them in 2022, and that is the first sign of it. And this is definitely an awesome addition to their lineup. Let me know what you think about the Hammer Ray in the comment section below. While you're down there, hit that subscribe button and the notifications bell. Again, the links are in the video description. Throw the video a like. We'll see you back soon for some more RC Driver videos.